Welcome to Inside SoCal. I'm your host, Erica Olson. Memorial Weekend is just around the corner, so we have some fun ideas for the long weekend, plus grilling tips from one of LA's best chop houses. This is Bikes and Hikes LA. We started in the year 2009. We are an outdoor adventure tour company. So what we do is people that visit our city, we show them the city in a sustainable, health conscious and eco-friendly way. Since COVID, it's a great way to learn about your city, get some exercise and just kind of experience everything. We are going to do the celebrity bike tour today. We're gonna to take you through some of the most amazing epic areas of this part of Los Angeles. So today we're starting in beautiful West Hollywood, California. We're gonna make our way down to the pink wall, Paul Smith building, take a few photos, right? Show all our friends and family. Uh, from there, we'll make our way down Melrose Avenue, the very popular shopping district. We'll stop over at Melrose Place. From there, we're gonna make our way back on the Santa Monica Boulevard over into Beverly Hills. We'll do a little mansion shopping. From there, I'll give you kind of the history of the way Beverly Hills developed from a cowboy town into probably the most wealthy town in all of Los Angeles. Um, there was a time when Rodeo Drive was actually called Rodeo. Rodeo Drive. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, we're gonna enjoy that today as well. Uh, from there, we're gonna make our way back along Route 66 uh, after, of course, doing a little shopping on Rodeo, a little window shopping, of course. Uh, we'll make our way along Route 66 right back here to beautiful West Hollywood. Oh my gosh, Eric, that was so much fun. Did you enjoy yourself? I loved it. I learned things that I, I had no idea. I feel like I was a tourist in my own city. Well, welcome to Los Angeles. <laughs> Thank you. People just have a whole new kind of perspective on the city. They, you know, experience things up close and personal. They burn calories, they're thrilled. They've learned a lot about the city when they get back. It's a great way to spend the day with the family, friends. We are so excited to invite Angelinos to our shop to come experience a tour, to get on a bike, to jump on a hike, learn about the city, get some fresh air, and get ready for summer 2021 because it's gonna be a great one. Jar Restaurant is an LA institution. Since debuting in 2002, this modern chop house has received rave reviews from patrons and critics alike. At the helm is chef owner Suzanne Tract, who's sharing her tips for your Memorial Day grill out. We're coming up to Memorial Day. Everybody wants to barbecue. Uh, we can finally have our friends and family over. We're gonna celebrate, you know? We're gonna go all out. So we have a, a beautiful prime ribeye we're gonna do. We have filet, we have some beautiful akahushi skirt steak, got some sausages. I love it. Well, let's begin, shall we? First thing we're gonna do is you always wanna season your meat. So we have some nice cracked black pepper. It might look like a good amount, but guess what? It's gonna burn off a little bit, too. And a little parsley. You can use parsley, thyme, rosemary, whatever you'd like. But I like to use a little herb on there as well because it also will give it a little bit more of a crust and a little bit more um, color. All right, Good. let's throw something on. All right, let's, let's start here. I'm using a broiler today. It's very similar. It's just that the heat's coming from the top. But if you're using gas or coals, get a nice hot grill. You know, Are we talking it, like 500 degrees, 600 degrees? I, I like as hot as you can because I really want to sear my meat. But also, you know, preheat your grill. Make sure you clean it. When I first start, I'm putting it directly on the heat because I really want to sear it off and I really want to get some nice color on it. You know, when you're grilling, one of the most common mistakes is you have to know your heat. You have to, you know, put your hand over, figure out where your hot spots are, where your cooler areas are so when you, you can get that nice sear. And then you have to let it rest so all the juices stay locked in. While we're waiting for the meat, let's have a few oysters. Yes, I love that idea. I love grilled oysters. And one of the reasons I love them is, first of all, I love oysters. But also, when you grill them, they just open on their own. They just pop open, and then you just shuck them and pop them in your mouth. Oyster hey, cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Delicious, Chef. It gets you ready for your big meal. Mm. See? Oh, beautiful color. Skirt steak is gorgeous. Actually, I like the skirt steak a little rare, so we're going to take it off and let it rest up here a little bit. Another great tip is we have the skirt steak. You always want to cut against the grain. Okay. okay, otherwise it's going to be tough. You can season it with whatever you'd like, but I, I always just prefer some really great kosher salt or fleur de sel and some cracked black pepper. And let the meat speak for itself? Exactly. This is a perfect meal for Memorial Day. It's not a lot of fuss, it's just great clean food. And everybody's going to love it. Well, that's it for our show. I'm Erica Olson. Thanks for watching.